Greetings to everybody all around the world. Uh, tonight happened to be Friday, August the 14th, 2020. 2020, time for change, time for the vision, time for young people to be guided in the right direction. Time for those that's been in leadership for 40 and 50 years. You know, if you need a rest, especially if you're going off course or you can't stay stable or you got dementia or Alzheimer's or something like that there, you know, let the other young people that's going to lead right, lead right. Uh, uh, the day, like I said, is the 14th, and it's Friday, August the, uh, 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 14, 2020. A couple of messages I got, especially for my uh, uh, Chicago people. Everybody in the Chicago area, the, the, the suburbs, south and, and, and west, uh, uh, north suburbs. Tomorrow, Saturday, August the 15th, 2020, it's a planned protest on the Dan Ryan Expressway. I want some of y'all this. Before you go out there tomorrow to think, think real clearly why you're going out there. If you're going out there for the reasons that some of these Black Lives uh, Matter uh, leaders and members is, is sending you out there for, think twice. Let's take, for instance, on the 9th of August 2020, when the young 20-year-old was shot by the police. Uh, on uh, 57 in Aberdeen. Now, or Racine. Think real clearly. When the police was out there trying to control the crowd, you had different stories. As of right now, no cameras, no footage of the shooting has come up. The mayor said the police, those particular police that was on that particular mission in that area, they didn't have body cams. There was one light-skinned guy that you've seen in this video, and I done seen him three times since. And I declared him from my observation that he's an agitator, he's an infiltrator, He's an opportunist, and he's a perpetrator. Now, he's a part of the Black Lives Matter thing. He, he be shouting, no justice, no peace. He the one said, he started the crowd up. He said that he seen the whole shooting. It was a 15-year-old boy at first, they said, 14 or 15-year-old boy. He said he got shot 16, 17 times. He said he got killed. We seen none of that was true so far. Not none of it. His mother even said he's 20 years old. He got shot five times. You see what I'm saying? We know he's not an innocent individual because he was on his Facebook page, looked like with a Glock in one hand, in an AK-47 or an automatic assault rifle in his other hand. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but I want you to take a real good look of this Black Lives Matter uh, female, Ariel uh, Atkins, told these people that was breaking in this pla these places, y'all, that they wasn't doing nothing wrong. Then they was at the police station protesting, bonding these people out. Now, this same agitator that claimed that they took his phone and he videoed everything, now that was the night, the day the 14th. It's been five days now. You ain't been in front of no news people telling them, get my camera so we can see this shooting. Or did you ever get your phone taken from you? Because if they took my phone, you see, I'm an activist. They took my phone, it would have been a struggle taking mine, number one. But number two, if they took my phone, I would have been constantly up in there if I seen these people actually shoot somebody that was unarmed. I don't know if he was armed or not. They got a gun. They traced him down to the house that he was in. He was just in the park, him and his brother, fighting somebody. Somebody said they called the police. 
You see what I'm saying? They got the running. If I ain't did nothing, I ain't finna run. But sometimes I can't, I can't blame some black people from running when the police come because some police, not all, is gunning us down. But now, I seen this same guy, the light-skinned guy, in two other videos. One of them, when they was on 63rd and, the, and them brothers over there on 63rd and Loomis told Black Lives Matter, get up out of here. Then you see one white guy, he trying to get away to fight him. They said, let him go. You see what I'm saying? Why is you over here wanting to fight these brothers and sisters on 63rd and Loomis, whether you white or black, when they said they got their own territory covered? Y'all go cover 57 and Loomis where the guy got shot. Don't come over here busting these things. But then I seen this guy on the same light-skinned guy. I seen him today on, on a video. Now, it shocked me one of these so-called crime chasers covered everything that these people were saying, Black Lives Matter. And this guy said, we don't need no police. We don't need no police. Take all their funding. Now, he said we don't need no police take their funding. His, his, his leader, Ariel uh, Atkins, said these people that's breaking in these places ain't doing nothing wrong, so we don't have no police. Ariel said it's, it's breaking in them places ain't no crime. Then business owners, homeowners like us, we have to take the law in our own hands. But I bet you can't tell these black people whose house getting shot up, whose people shooting at them, who people they carjacking. You can't tell them we don't need no police. See, y'all live very comfortably. And they said most of these people, some of them don't even live in Chicago. But what I'm trying to show y'all is, this Black Lives Matter people done showed me something. These activists that said that they, they when these kids get killed, they said how much they form, but let me y'all tell all these, y'all send the word out to all them activists that was in the mic when the nine-year-old got killed, claiming they tired of the kids getting killed and shot. Well, tell them just tonight, two hours ago, just two hours ago, a 12-year-old black guy was in a park on 64th and Ellis tonight. Got shot multiple times in his leg. Where y'all at? Y'all get up on them mics when they dead, but then this guy shot. Get up out your houses. Like, you, if the news media's not around, or you gonna get on there tomorrow? Get over there on 64th and Alice like you was doing uh, in, the, in the Cabrini Green on Cambridge when the little nine-year-old got killed, saying that you concerned about him. March up, y'all. Go over there on 64th and Alice. Go to these other places where these individuals shooting what kids at in the park. You ain't going to go. You know why? Because you ain't real activists. Y'all don't want me to show you the conditions of my one and two year old daughters when they was taken from out of my house down here in Charleston, Missouri, on May the 19th of 2008. You see what I'm saying? And seeing their conditions, 70 days and 70 nights out there in that jungle. And not nan activists speak, spoke up. But y'all wake up, people. Before you go on that Dan Ryan, I used to work on the Amalans. What if a person gets shot in that area and the Amalans got to try to get to the closest hospital? You're going to make them detour four or five miles where the at minutes and seconds count. Think about it. Go tell them Black Lives Matter and all these other people talking about they don't need no police. You see what I'm saying? Saying it's all right to break in these stores. Ask them, do they own any stores so we can go break in them? Ask them, do they need, do they live in a neighborhood where people are study shooting and carjacking? And another thing, y'all watch out for these carjackers. They don't care who you, what color you is. They're not discriminating. They steal in one car, then go steal in another one, and that's when they doing their drive-by. Y'all wake up. All black folks is not for us. Just like all white folks is not against us. All police are not for us, just like all police are not against us. But if you got a good rapport with them, keep that good rapport. And the police, 
Chicago police, let me tell you what I don't like about what y'all are doing. Besides killing some of our people unjustly, some of y'all. When you say, this tomorrow, you gonna be prepared for downtown. You gonna put an additional 1,000 police downtown. Not on the south or the west side where these blacks is getting killed. Not on 64th and Ellis where this 12 year old boy just got shot, but downtown. You doing that downtown, that's because, because all of them big businesses is down there and them rich white folks is living down there. If you're gonna put a thousand downtown, put a thousand in the black neighborhood. Peace be still.